It started just like every other day, but something felt off. <gasps> it's happening. The apocalypse is here. Fortunately, I had been preparing for the time a tech-destroying solar flare wiped out all of the world's electricity and devices. Right, now, uh, where's that dot that tells me where I am? Unfortunately, for some of us, reading a paper map can be a little confusing at first. But for thousands of years, people right around the globe have been using them. They show us the size and shapes of countries, help us judge distances, and figure out where we are and where we want to get to. Directions to A, B, C. Hello? Maps are created by people called cartographers. Before we had computers, they drew maps by hand. First by observing and guessing, and then by using geometry, which let people measure distances really accurately just using angles. This method is still used today, although now we have more sophisticated equipment that uses lasers to get really precise measurements. When planes came along, we were able to take photos from really high up, giving us an even more accurate picture. And then when satellites came along, well, we could see what our world really looked like. And then along came the Global Positioning System, a group of more than 30 satellites that are constantly zooming around the Earth that can show you exactly where you are at any point. GPS completely changed the way most of us use maps. Today, finding where you are and where you want to go is as easy as punching in an address and away you go, which means paper maps aren't as common these days. Oh, GPS, how I miss you! It's one of the reasons why the government agency in charge of making maps has decided to stop printing large-scale topographical maps. That's a type of map that shows you physical features of the area and give you an idea of how high and steep things are by using contour lines. It's as if the closer the lines are, the steeper it is. <sighs> Geoscience Australia says people will still be able to access topographical maps online and print them if they need to. But not everyone is happy with the decision. It's always it's a great backup having a map and a compass. You're not going to run out of battery. Um, it's not going to break down. Um, so it is also that when everything, when all sort of technology fails, you've got that map and compass there to, to, to get you where you need to go. <sighs> oh, I've made it. Jack, where have you been all day? Emma, it's the apocalypse. A solar flare wiped out all electronic infrastructure. What? No, it didn't. You just didn't turn it on. Oh. But wait, what about the kettle? 